Hello, today I'll be teaching you how to solve linear systems by substitution. So, like in the title, we will be using substitution to solve our linear system. So what is the linear system? We have this, these set of equations are our linear systems. And what we need to do is we need to substitute values into one of these equations in order to get the values. So let's try it out. Um, in this case, I want to try substituting the y value of the second equation and substituting this value into here. So then what would you get? x plus 2 times 3x plus 2 is equal to 11. So you distribute the 2, so you get 6x plus 4 is equal to 11. Add the x's. 7x plus 4 is equal to 11. Subtract 4 on both sides, and what do you get? 11 minus 4, that's 7. You get 7x, x is equal to 1. So now you know what the value of 1 is, but you still need to know what the value of y is. So we put it back into the equation, y equals 3x plus 2. y equals 3 times 1, since the x value is equal to 1, plus 2. 3 plus 2, well that is 5. y equals 5. So what's the solution to this linear system? Well, it's 1 comma 5. Moving on, let's try this problem. Now you have 3x plus y minus 7 equals negative 7. Now you have negative 2x plus 4y equals 0. Now the problem is we don't have a single, value, uh, single variable on one side. So what we can do is we can move this 3x over on the first equation or move this 4y over so that and then divide so we can get a single variable on one point. So let me do number two. Negative two x plus four y is equal to zero. Now I move over four y by subtracting four y on both sides, getting negative four y is equal to negative two x. I divide both sides by negative four, y is equal to one half x. Now that's going to be the equation that I'm going to be including as my first equation. These two values, these two equations are equal. I just switched, oh, sorry. No, not this equation, but the second equation. These equations are the same. Since I just moved around the values so I can make this the variable alone on one side. So what do I do now? I put it into the first equation, 3x plus one half x equals negative seven. Just as a side note, the only reason why we don't put this equation back into here is that it won't give us a solution to the problem, right? So, what? Uh, so if we put it into here, we get so three point five x is equal to negative seven. Divide three point five on both sides as is equal to negative two, right? So. Um, let's try this out. Negative 2x plus 4, 1 half x, right? Equals 0. Now, if we do, if we do this entire equation out, we get 2x is equal to 2x, because I moved this over here by adding on both sides. Now, if you divide 2x by 2x on both sides, you get 1 equals 1. So you know that this equation is true, but it doesn't give you what the x value is. Oops. It doesn't give you what the x value is. So what you got to do is you got to put it into this, uh, put it into the other equation to get x is equal to negative two. From there, you put it into the y equation that you have. So y equals one half x equals one half negative two, which is negative one. So your solution is negative two comma negative one. Moving on. Now we solve linear systems by using elimination. So elimination is where you where you line up your equations in this format, and we subtract on we uh, we add um, the both equations from here and here. So what is two x minus two x plus negative two x? Well, that's just zero. 
What is 3y plus 5y? That's 8y. What's 11 plus 13? Well, that's 24. 8 divide, 24 divided by 8. What is that? y equals 3. So now you have your y, y value. Now what you got to do is you got to find your x value. So you input it into any equation you want. So 2x plus 3, 3, because that's your y value, is equal to 11. 9 plus 2x equals 11. Subtract 9 on both sides, and you get 2 is equal to 2x. So what is your x value equal to? x is equal to 1. Now your solution is 1 comma 3. Moving on. Now you have x plus 2y equals 13. Minus x plus, y, minus x plus y equals 5. So what we've got to do is we've got to add these two equations together. x plus negative x, 0. 2y plus y, 3y. 13 plus 5, 18. Divide by 3 on both sides and you get y equals 6. Now, you have your y value, but you don't have your x value. So I'm going to choose the second equation, negative x plus y equals 5. Substitute the value. So you get negative x plus 6 is equal to 5. And you get negative x is equal to negative 1. Now, you divide the negative on both sides and you get x equals 1. And that means that your answer to the solution is 1 comma 6. Well, that's about it for this lesson today. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.